What's next? He has like flamethrower arms? I don't know. All right, Burn me. Reapers, what is good? It's your boy Laser. You guys have a with another scary reaction video. He's on the scary content. So you can do a little bit of Top 10 scary siren head facts. <laughs> guys, siren head is absolutely terrifying. He's enjoy scary content. They even think it's funny. <laughs> They're laughing. But you enjoy scary content. He's more scary videos, features for the like button. You subscribe to the notification bell icon stream every night on Twitch. Go check out stream fucking amazing. Let's dive straight in this video. Twitter, here is the top 10 scary siren head facts. Let's get on. Here we go. Kicking off this countdown at number 10 is where did siren head come from? This will all depend on what your beliefs are. Some will believe that an artist named Trevor Henderson created the towering monster Trevor back Henderson. in 2018. Trevor Henderson, is he that fucking TikToker that makes like I reacted like a video not too long ago about it, but yeah. While others will believe that he's been around since the 1960s. The artist first shared an image of Siren Head on his Twitter in 2018 and had a very creepy response with people coming forward with citing stories. However, the 40 foot tall creature was reported to be seen for the first time back in 1966 when a family on a vacation in the Arizona desert captured a photo of him. Turns out- Whoa, it's just, it's, it's fake, relax. This fucking- I always said they should put Siren Head like fucking Dead by Daylight, but I, I don't know how they could do that though. I mean, they put Chucky in the game, so I don't know- I don't know how they couldn't do Siren Head. They could probably work with him somehow. But they would have to make him big because of what- like what? He's like fucking 11 feet? How tall is he? Out the family was doing some typical tourist stuff and explored the desert, which led them to an old cemetery. Like most people would, they snapped a picture of it, but when they developed the pictures Dude, later on, bagging. they saw the monster just standing there in between some gravestones. Like, that is some scary movie content right there. That is a family vacation you will never forget. Moving on to number nine. Siren Head has multiple ways to manipulate its victims. In fact, he is known as the embodiment of fear. Was that a micro? <laughs> anxiety and war. When he is close to his victim, he can make them feel immense pain with these fears. He uses this to his advantage to disorient his prey and even make them walk straight to him. Also, it is said that the closer you get to Siren Head, then the faster your heart will beat. So if you're out so wandering you're about and you start getting heart palpitations, no, <clears throat> it's not from drinking too much coffee. It may just be because Siren Head is lurking a little too close to you. Siren! Sliding <laughs> to the number eight spot is the scary fact that he will kidnap you. Not only do I not want to be like kidnapped in general, but the no, oh, really, no, we all want to be kidnapped. Oh shit! Oh, no, no, no! no. <laughs> My owner's coming back. Kidnapping me is this forty-foot double-headed radial. Imagine being kidnapped. Oh, that's terrifying. Like, imagine. I think it's gotta be the scariest thing ever. Like, just being kidnapped in like an attic. And then the person that kidnapped you, I think it's like that, gotta be scary. I mean, it's already scary enough, but like when you're just sitting down there, like alone, wherever you're kidnapped. But I think it's just scary, like whenever you see like the person that kidnapped you, just you can hear them just like coming down, like whatever, bro. <laughs> and I'm not saying like I have experience from this shit, but it's like because yes, can see how I'm talking. It sounds like I'm having experience from this. No, I never had experience. I don't plan on having experience on it. I mean, nobody's gonna fuck with me, bro. Look at me. <laughs> They want to fuck me, like, literally, but still. Like, man creature. Like, if I'm going to get kidnapped, at least give me a chance to escape. Equal playing field kind of thing. But there are some victims who got snatched up by him and lived on to tell the tale. One of them's name is Chad. He shared his story online Chad. saying that on July... That, that, that name pisses me off, bro. Imagine being called Chad. Imagine being called Chad, what the fuck? 16th, 1995, he and his friends were hiking in the woods of Tanyard Creek where they spotted him just lurking around. According to Chad, his friends got snatched up by the creature which started using his siren heads to mimic their voices as part of a way to throw off any kind of rescue plan. The only good part of the story is that Chad was actually found alive with just a few minor injuries, but his friends were never found. After this story came to surface, other people claim that siren head was spotted in Indiana and citizens just started disappearing without any explanation. In Coincidence? I think not. Moving on to number seven, Siren Head doesn't even have a brain, yet he is capable of doing complex tasks and is quite intelligent. Someone tell me how this creature is capable of having strong cognitive abilities. I'm assuming that's his brain right there, right? 
or that. I don't know. Two but brains. is brainless. Like, I can barely remember what I had for breakfast. I thought that was his brain. Breakfast, and yet this creature is out there without a brain, but still practically gifted. It was cereal, though. I had, I had cereal. Nobody asked. So, Siren Head can execute elaborate plans and is the master at manipulation and can think and process information quickly. Seriously, this creature just keeps becoming more and more terrifying. What's next? He has like flamethrower arms? I don't know. All right, Burn me. Six now, and you're probably wondering what the sirens on his head do. Like, what is. Dude, I remember, like, whenever I think of Siren Head, like the sirens he makes, I think of that, uh, you know, that, that video, like, I think everyone they're fucking, well, not everyone their fucking mother. It's, it, it, it has a lot of views. Uh, that sh that broken police siren in, like Chicago, I think it's like a fo it shows like a foggy like city, and then like you guys know what I'm talking about, and then you hear like a broken siren, and then motherfuckers are like that's siren, head. but it's like that's like the sound they use for siren. Head. It's like a it's a it's pretty much a broken uh. Is, that, is it a police siren or is it like just an ambulance siren? I think it's an ambulance siren, yeah. It's their purpose. Clearly they aren't ambulance blasting head. out music or helpful public service announcements. So what is the He's deal? Packing. The two <laughs> sirens on his head give him the ability to release sounds of many different things. The typical sound of a siren, screams, static, and also human conversations. I can only imagine how awful that would be to have like screams or TV static playing that loud from a 40 foot monster. Talk about making my ears bleed. But that is not the worst part. One special power these sirens give him is the power of mimicking. He can actually mimic the voices of other humans and play it out loud, which helps him out with his kill. Skin when he attacks this, huh? a group of people, he can use their voices to distract them or lead them a different way. Maybe you thought the sirens were just like a silly look. I personally underestimated them. We are now at our halfway mark with number five. Now let's talk about his eerie appearance. He may just appear to be a tall, rusty looking creature, but in fact, he is composed of dried, mummified skin. Siren Head also appears very malnourished and gaunt looking, and he will always maintain this appearance even after feasting on multiple victims. Dang, he must have like a super fast metabolism. Around 40 feet tall, about the size of a telephone pole. Yeah, he's like 40 feet. That's why I don't know how they would put him in Dead by Daylight. They would probably have to shrink him and that would defeat the whole purpose of Siren Head. They could. They, I don't think they could work. I mean, there's games against... I don't fucking know. Well, like, look, 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 look. They don't have to literally make him, like, 40 feet, like, exact in the game. They just gotta make him tall to where it seems like he's 40 feet. You know what I'm saying? They could work with him. I don't know how, but they, they could definitely make Siren Ed a fucking killer. 100%. Now, the only part of his body that is made of metal is parts of the speakers that are fused in with his skin. He has the speaker wires running down his neck and body, which can be seen also pressed into his skin. In fact, when this creature is angry, it is said that the wires will begin twitching. Now, that's not all. His arms are said to be the same length of his body, making it easy for him to pick up his prey. He can also rotate his head around his body like an owl so he can target his victims. This dude is the definition of creepy. I no, have some bad news for number four, you guys. Siren Head is not the only monster. There's actually another- Hey, LA, he's getting dirty on you. Look at him spraying those legs. <laughs> monster which was actually introduced by the same artist Trevor Henderson called the long horse when I hear that name I think what could possibly be so scary about like a long looking horse but then I saw a picture of it and I regretted ever asking that let me describe him to you a little bit so you get a better idea his skin isn't like a regular horse it's actually wax which allows his neck and body to bend just like a human finger would like siren head he too has special abilities he can make new joints for himself on demand so if you thought of just like hacking him into pieces as a defense mechanism, you probably need to rethink a good plan. The scariest part is that despite his size, he's deathly quiet, so you won't actually hear him coming. One bright side to this deadly monster is that he smells like cinnamon. I don't know how, I don't understand why, but the next time- Cinnamon challenge, guys. <laughs> <laughs> smell I'm cinnamon done. check out your surroundings at number three let's talk about his diet now siren head apparently only likes to eat two things one of them being humans sorry everyone and the other being a creature named bloodlusts now bloodlust check out my other song bloodlust in all uh, platforms creatures but they do not have arms ears noses or mouths but they do have eyes on their forehead that act as their mouths does not sound appetizing to me on top of that, these creatures are also super powerful. 
but Siren Head is more dominant and can kill and eat them easily. In fact, in order to capture the bloodless creatures, Siren Head can remain motionless for multiple days. This allows them to attract multiple bloodless and then feast on them all at one time. However, humans are still their preferred meal. So watch out. We're moving on to number two. Guess what? There is more than one siren head. What makes this fact so terrifying is the only reason we know this is because there has been multiple sightings across the globe. And although he has incredibly long legs, there is no way that he could be walking around traveling this much. Many sightings have been reported and apparently they like to change their location only if their hunting doesn't go to plan. Siren heads spend most of their time on the prey, searching I mean, for humans days, to stalk dude, and then kill. Hey, be real, bro. I know my she's wearing off, but it's like zoning out is crazy. Like I do it all the time. Kill. So, so if there are no humans in the area, they will often just relocate. But they aren't always on the move. They can actually remain motionless, like Lindsay mentioned, for days at a time. But why would they want to do that? In fact, it is in fear of each other. A siren head knows that a human cannot defeat him, but multiple creatures of his kind could easily team up and take over his hunting grounds. I mean, as long as they don't like relocate to Canada, I'm good. And you're good too. We're safe. Yay, we're safe. <sighs> and coming in at our number one spot, Siren Head has multiple powers or abilities. The first being to mimic, as Jocelyn mentioned before. The second being strength. Siren Head creatures are super strong. They can break down trees, throw boulders, or move other objects with ease. On top of that, they are super fast as well. So if it's a one on one between you and Siren Head, there's no point in even trying. Hey, Siren Head, come on, bitch. Trying. You can't outrun him or even outsmart him. And he is also the master at stealth. He can blend in seamlessly with the surrounding- Ow, he's so fucking tall. <laughs> how, how, how is he able to like blend- Well, I mean, I don't know. Forest. So you want- Maybe like between the trees, like maybe in like a map. Yeah, because that's where he takes place, like a camp. Don't even see him coming. And a lastly, he may even be a shapeshifter. It is said that he may be able to transform his head into street lamp lights or other forms of sirens, but that is still not confirmed. And I wouldn't want confirmation either. You won't find me anywhere near this creature. All right, that's all yeah, the facts. True. Well, guys, as it was this video, I hope you enjoyed it. Which one of the scary siren effects was most scary to you? If you enjoy scary content, these are our scary videos, features, and to do. I'll see you next one. Peace.